These 10 tools are guaranteed to make your plumbing job easier. Now, whether you're commercial, residential, service, or new construction, you may need some, you may not need some. But I think these 10 tools literally will make your job so much easier, it will help you get done faster. And there's times, some of these tools, there's nothing else that'll replace them. If you're new here, number one, welcome to the new studio. We've been working on it, hope you like it. We still got changes to make along the way, but this is something we had fun building. If you've never been here before, or even if you have, please remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Okay, so one of the first tools that I'm gonna pull out is one that when I didn't have it on my truck, I figured out how bad I needed it. Now this is actually a combo tool, but it's a handle puller. And if you've ever gone onto a job where you need to get into a faucet and you can't get the handle off, like a lavatory faucet, this is a game changer. Even an old kitchen faucet. You literally put this in, take your set screw out, put this in where the set screw goes, and then slide this in up under the handles, slide it into position, and then screw it in. This is a pulley, so literally, this is pushing on the stem while this is pulling the handle up. Now this is neat. What I like about this one, this is a convertible. This is another tool built into it that you really do need. Have you ever changed out an angle stop and realized the ferrule on there? You'd probably be better off changing it and the nut too, but you can't get that nut off. You don't wanna to try to cut the ferrule to cut the copper. What you do is take everything off, slide this into the end of the copper line, put this on above it, and then tighten it down to your nut. So now this is what you have on there. Now you do the exact same thing. Stick this in, lock this down behind the nut, pull it out, and slides that ferrule right off. Now you can put on a brand new compression stop or go to a solder one if you so choose. Make sure you stay around till the end where we do two questions in two minutes. And if you've got questions you'd like to have answered on a video, go to www.2questions2minutes.com. So the next tool I'm gonna pull out, and this is one that really does come in handy. There's a lot of things you can use and a lot of things I've seen used. I've seen people take two screwdrivers, put them in and hold them. This is to put in and take out a basket strainer. What a better tool to hold it down, hold it in position while you're underneath tightening up with your channel locks. This little basket strainer wrench is fantastic and you're gonna want this again later. Now the next tool. Have you ever been in a position where say you're doing a repair under a slab? Somehow the copper got hit, it, it's not round anymore. What I love is a swedge tool. Now you can take this swedge tool, drive it in. Now, as you see, this is for multiple sizes, but this is what you tap into the copper to get it back round. Now you can clean it up, put a fitting on, hopefully make your solder joint, but having this can save you hours from fighting and fighting and fighting a piece of copper pipe that maybe you can't replace. You've got a piece coming out of a piece of concrete, you can't straighten it up, at least with this, you can get it back round where you can solder something on there. Now the next one, and this is pretty cool. I know we've all got fitting brushes. I know, we, we, we use them. It helps us do our job faster. But what I like about this one is it's automatic. So now you can clean your fittings like that, and I love that. No better way to clean fittings faster. So when you got it out like this and you wanna clean copper, yeah, this is a leaking sharp back that we removed. But if I wanted to clean it, Quick and easy, that is beautiful. If you're running a lot of water or you're in a position where maybe you can't get paper in behind it, but maybe you can get in with this on top of it, this is a tool that I think is fantastic. Now, here's another one of my favorites, tubing benders. Now, I've never been great at bending tubing. I know that whenever I worked out at Texas Instruments, there were guys that bent a lot of stainless steel tubing. And I mean that they did it every day. And when you find somebody that can bend it perfect, it looks beautiful. But as a residential service plumber, if I'm putting in a 3 8 inch copper line, I know nowadays we've gone to the flexible hoses, but if you ever need to, it is so pretty to be able to, but if you ever need to, it's so pretty to see it when people have bent copper the right way. So you get it in position, you've got marks right over here where your degrees are. You can bend it at 90 degrees, you can stop at 45. 
pick a combination in between there, depending on how far your offset needs to be. But get it in, line it up, come right around. I'm gonna bend 90, so I go right around toward my zero, lines up. That looks cool. Now, if I was going up into a faucet or something like that, mark it, allow for my pop size, bend it, line it up, make it look good. This is one that really can set your work apart. If you care about the way your work looks, you want it to look good, that's a good tool to have. Now, here's another one. And I showed you the battery one a while ago. Say that you just do water lines all the time. I love this. Half inch, three quarters, so it's great for residential. You've got your inside cleaner for your fittings. You've got your wire brush on the outside for your pipe. This can speed up your day and definitely help you get things done faster. Now another tool. This is one that, look, there's not really anything better. You can try and use a knife, you can try and use a saw, but you're gonna have jagged, rugged ends that don't look good. I love these cutters. Nice and straight, you're never gonna have a problem. And no matter how many cuts you got to do, these things are going to save you time. Now, these are tools that can save you a lot of time. These little pick sets, if you're having to change out seats, if you're having to change out washers and springs, anything like that in a valve faucet, anything at all, you really want a little set of tools that you can get in there and grab stuff with. I'm telling you, these have saved me so many times, but also they've really put me in a bind when I was in a position when I didn't have them. Now, if you can't find a set that you really like, Get them from your dentist, that's where I got mine. Now this is another one. And again, I've seen people use two screwdrivers and put in there, but I love the little dumbbell tub drain remover. Now remember I told you earlier, you're gonna want this later. This is a great little thing to have to put in here to use as leverage. Now I've actually had one in so tight, I've actually taken a pipe wrench or a large crescent and put on here to break one loose. But I gotta tell you, this, a tub drain tool, and they make many different ones, I really do like this one because of the small and large end, but you really want all three of them to have with you when you need them. Now the last one that I've got, and it's really not because I also saved one of my favorites, but these nipple extractors. This is something that's helped me save people's day. They call and say, hey, you know, reached up, grabbed the shower head, broke it off. I don't know how we're gonna get that out. A nipple extractor to reach back in there, get inside of a piece of pipe and then get that unscrewed has literally made my job so much easier. These are all tools that I really think need to be in everybody's toolbox or at least on your truck. You may not want to carry them in every time, but they are good to have around. The only other thing that I'm going to show you is one of my favorites, and that's a knee pad. If you're going to be doing residential service work or even maybe you're on a big commercial job where you run water all the time, you're down on your knees because you're building bathroom headers. Guys, these can save your knees a lot of pain and a lot of problem, that's tool number 11. Okay, for two questions, two minutes. And William Morris asks, how do you feel about the other type of crimp rings? He talks about he switched to them because of the smaller tool, and I get that, that's a good thing. I think that having the right tool to where you can get in there and crimp something, I like the cinch rings that you're talking about because of the smaller tool and because they're a stainless steel band. I also like the other ones because a lot of times they're easier to get into, easier to tighten up, and with the tool, you can double check to make sure everything's good. Either way, use what you're comfortable with and use what gives you the best result. Next question is from Cadet3. Says, Roger, do you think it's beneficial to go with a condensing tankless water heater versus non-condensing? This applies to new home construction. I can't think of many pros to go with condensing, especially here in Texas. The temp rise doesn't seem to justify the need for condensing here in Waco, Texas. Curious on your opinion. Anytime you can give somebody a higher efficiency water heater, I think it's a good idea. Is condensing gonna do that? Supposed to. Here's my thing. I'd rather do the condensing in new construction because then you can worry about running your drain and getting it to a proper location. That's a problem we run into a lot when people want to retrofit a tank style water heater with a tankless. If you go condensing, you've got to find a way to run that drain and get it out to where it needs to be. Anyway, I hope that answers your question.
If you're a plumber and you've used some of these tools or if there's some of them you haven't used, or maybe I even left out a tool that you think is important to have, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, let me know what do you think about the new studio. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed. Curious on your pos Curious on your con- yeah. Curious on- Put this in where the set screw grows. Put this in where the set yeah. Put this in where the set screw yeah. Say that you're just you just do water lines all the time.